This is Amy Chapman for 12 Puppy, and this is Pilaf. Welcome to Growing Up Guide Pup. A lot of dogs get dropped from the guide dog program for having distraction issues. So this week we decided to work with Pilaf and some of her distractions. This week we decided to take Pilaf to one of our favorite parks that is loaded with all different types of distractions. The first big distraction we had to deal with was the weather. It was really windy on this day and well Pilaf has been in the wind but this was actually really windy and I don't think she's been out in wind like this before. The bushes were blowing very violently and the trees were swaying back and forth not only creating a lot of noise but a lot of movement as well. Now things blowing in the wind can be a little frightening to some puppies and we know Pilaf has some confidence issues and we're not always sure what's going to frighten her so we were really curious to see how she handled the situation. So despite all the wind and all the movement with everything around her, Pilaf handled it really well. She handled the things blowing past her without any hesitation okay. or even chasing them. She also wasn't frightened by all the trees blowing in the wind. She was curious but not frightened and had no problem moving throughout the park. If you saw last season, week 40, you saw one of my favorite things to introduce the dogs to at this park, and that is the Golden Retriever dog statue. Now, when we introduced Ricky to the dog statue, she greeted it with great enthusiasm. I believe at first she thought it was an actual dog, and overall, Ricky has a much more bubbly personality than Pilaf in general. Now, let's talk about how Pilaf did. Just like Ricky, she wasn't frightened by the statue, which is a fabulous thing, but she also wasn't as enthusiastic as Ricky. She walked right up to the dog statue, sniffed its nose, and realized it wasn't a real dog, and said, eh, I'm good, and moved on. Another distraction that we wanted to do some work with Pilaf on was the smell distraction. We decided to walk through the rose garden because it's loaded with all different types of smells. Now, when a guide dog is working, they're not allowed to stop and sniff the flowers, so Pilaf needs to understand when it's okay to stop and sniff and when it's not. And since she's fully jacketed and in all her equipment, we were moving through the rose garden without allowing her to sniff anything. And she handled it really well. Now, we know Pilaf has a little bit of a dog distraction with our dogs, but we haven't come across too many other dogs while we've been out and about in public. And while we were at the park, we did come across another dog, and I was really curious to see how Pilaf would handle it. The owners of this little dog were really great. They had their dog stand still while we walked Pilaf back and forth in front of their dog just to see how she reacted. Well, Pilaf did amazingly well. She didn't seem distracted by this dog at all. She looked at it but continued walking the direction that I wanted her to go. So she's doing really well with her dog distraction. Pilaf did really well with the dog in the park. But if you've been following the season, you know she's got a little bit of a Ricky distraction and we've made really big progress on it. So we're really excited to show you how she's doing. If you watched last season, you know that in week 18, we showed you Ricky had a little bit of a ball distraction. Well, that hasn't changed. In fact, it's gotten even worse and she's completely obsessed with the tennis ball. a lot of work with Ricky and Pilaf interacting with each other. In the very beginning, Pilaf couldn't keep her mouth off Ricky whatsoever. If you saw week three, you know Pilaf was very distracted by both Ricky and Eli. Well, we've made huge improvements to where we can have them both in the back area and playing with two different toys and they're not interacting at all. We've been working with Pilaf on a long line while she has the opportunity to play with her jolly ball, which is a ball with a rope through it. So this makes for a great training opportunity where I can keep Pilaf entertained with a rope toy and Matt can be throwing a ball for Ricky and Ricky runs right by Pilaf to go after the ball and Pilaf doesn't really even notice. She'll look at Ricky, but stay focused on her toy and her toy alone. So as you can see, Pilaf is making huge progress with her Ricky distraction. We really didn't think she'd come along this quickly because when we first got her for the first couple months, she really couldn't contain herself. She just kept lunging at Ricky and it was really difficult in the beginning. But it goes to show you a lot of patience and hard work can go a really long way. 
And the fact that we can have both dogs outside playing with different toys at the same time and not interacting is huge. So Pilaf is well on her way to getting herself under control and we're really proud of her. So keep watching and we'll keep you posted on how she's doing and we'll see you next time on Growing Up Guide Pup.